uh, from uh, you know where you where you're from and the vision you were. So, so um, I may, um, Dorica, I may ask you to continue your, the presentation of the patient council. We don't hear you. Dorica, please. Can you move the slide? Oh, yeah, it's good. Yes, I do. So that's useful tools. You will see it in the, in the PowerPoint when we give you back. So maybe we won't uh, leave time on it. So uh, we, we were thinking that it would be good to, to speak uh, uh, sometime about the organization and governance of ITACA and uh, about uh, our pa uh, in patient engagement in working groups. Uh, which are the leaders of the healthcare providers and uh, working group leaders, because uh, it's very important to know each other, what we are doing and who is who. Uh, and uh, probably some of us uh, today are new or haven't uh, been so active in, the, uh, in Itaka until now and probably don't know everybody. So it's good to, to remind about it. So next slide, please. Uh, the XCOM uh, is facilitating dissemination of information from EU, EU to the healthcare providers and updates uh, about work package progress and communication between working groups. Uh, patient council are, in, are involved in the, the governance of all working groups and uh, um, we hold an online bi-monthly meeting. Uh, also, uh, uh, the executive uh, committee has uh, six uh, bimestrial meetings per year. Next slide, please. So here are the working groups uh, where each of us is involved. And uh, most of us are involved in one or two or more uh, work packages. And uh, uh, I would like to ask you if uh, you see any mistakes or uh, if you think that you are involved in more working groups that uh, we mentioned here, you, you should uh, uh, tell us to, to change it. We still have uh, three EPACs which, have, which are not allocated to any uh, working groups and uh, uh, maybe they can uh, uh, inform us which are their intentions and where we could uh, allocate them because it's, uh, we need all the support uh, that you, you can provide to us. So next slide, yeah. please. Ma sorry, may oh, I just say, say more? Like, uh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say, sorry to interrupt. Um, you see, so Yvonne, uh, she represents uh, the red syndrome uh, and she recently withdrew from uh, her participation within the patient council. Um, so she's been very active as well with the patient journey and with different activities and uh, she was so she will be uh, of course we, we will need to find someone else I think she will uh, she will help also to find someone else but you know if you if you if you know someone who can represent this syndrome and uh, we also need someone to cover a little bit her participation in working package in work package four and work package six so that's why of course she's here but yes uh, so I may, I may add something too. Uh, for th those of you, you're not members. Uh, so there is EPAX advocates. Those one are well-defined, uh, but you don't need specially to be only EPAC advocate to be uh, participating in one of your work groups because now the work groups are very well starting working and we need some energy. So we need your presence too, to be on. Yeah. So I change, Dorica? Yes, please. So we, we are welcoming you if you uh, notify us that we, you would like to be involved in some of the working, working groups. So the first three working groups uh, are um, allocated to the management uh, and dissemination and evaluation in Itaca. And uh, two EPACs, uh, chair and co-chair, me and Ami, are part of these uh, working groups. And uh, the coordinator, I, I guess that everybody knows that uh, the coordinator of ITACA is uh, Dr. Alain Verlo. Uh, he is here. 
Or Alain? Not? Yeah. No, maybe it's uh, it's a yeah. outside. Okay. But I, I, I guess that everybody... It will come back, yeah. Yes, knows mm -hmm. him. So, uh, 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 the first uh, working group is uh, dedicated to management. Uh, sorry. It was interrupted. I don't know why. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's good. It's dedicated to management corporation of Itaca. Yes. Yes, we Can do. you hear me? And uh, from the team board from the team coordination we have on. And uh, for the working group two, which is uh, dedicated to dissemination and communication, we, we have uh, the support from the team coordination of Sara. And uh, for uh, evaluation working group, uh, we have uh, Clea uh, to support us. And uh, uh, as members of XCOM are all members of the coordination team are, mem are part of this. Uh, chair and co-chair of working groups and uh, chair and co-chair of patient, patient council. Next slide, please. Next slide, okay. Uh, work at package four oh, is- so, uh, yeah, you don't see the same. So, so everyone sees a so work package four. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. No. Mm. It is dedicated to guidelines or expert recommendation. And the goal of this work package is to improve patient care using high quality guidelines. The core, it is coordinated by Professor Hennekam from Amsterdam. And the EPACs that are supporting the work in uh, this work package are Yvonne and Sue. And uh, as you mentioned, Yvonne uh, is stepping down and uh, we need uh, a replacement here. Then uh, we're package uh, five uh, is for telehealth and diagnosis. And uh, the goal of this uh, work package is to increase the use of CPMS by ITACA members to share and discuss patient cases, uh, propose diagnosis and identify ultra rare disorders uh, to develop ITACA specific fields uh, and data sharing tools in collaboration with uh, CPMS developers. So it is just yeah. just on this one, um, this one, the CPMS is for those who will be tomorrow afternoon. Doesn't work very well for us. May I have a quick question, turning yes, that back a little bit to Ivan, because I was asked that how cl closed is this meeting? Somebody wanted to join, namely. Uh, who is the, uh, he was, I think, some kind of leader of Rapid Syndrome Europe, uh, Daniel Asili. So is it possible to join for Yes, her yeah, sure, we can yes, join. Of yes, okay. of course. In this case, I will share the link. It, it's very that. difficult for no, to know. Uh, for, we, we did the maximum we could to advertise on this, me this meeting, but um, please, you have to, to disseminate around yourself. Oh, okay. Thank you. So this work package is coordinated by Sofia and Alain, and uh, uh, EPAC's representatives are Dorica and Thomas. Um, maybe we should uh, think about how to improve the work on this work package, if you say that it, does, it doesn't work so well for us, because uh, maybe uh, also the EPACs could uh, support the, uh, the coordination of, or orientation of uh, severe cases or unsolved cases uh, for CPMS or to, to the experts to recommend it uh, to CPMS because uh, this mm. is done by experts from I know. healthcare I, providers. Yeah. I completely understand your proposition and it's very kind, but the trouble is we don't have the minimum data set necessary for our cases in Ithaca and we're still waiting. So you might have some news tomorrow about it. But it's still, it's a trouble for us. It's difficult and doctor doesn't use it very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's also difficult to, 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 to use the, the website, I would say, or the platform. What is it? You can't because use it for yourself. I tried. You can't, do, you can't go to the CPMS I, platform. I know, but... Yeah. Um, yes, I tried some time ago and it, it was very difficult anyway. So uh, then we're package six, 
uh, is dedicated to registries, uh, especially the activities around Iliad registry. Uh, to create, uh, uh, the goal was to create an Itaca wide fair registry for patients with uh, rare syndromal or non syndromal ID disorders and to fill the gaps uh, in available information about them. The coordinator of this work package is Alexandra Ranieri from Italy, and uh, IPAGs uh, uh, that support uh, the activity in this work package are Carol and Yvonne. And here also, Yvonne. Uh, being stepping down, maybe somebody else wants to replace. Um, next slide, please. Where package seven is dedicated to research, to promote sharing of knowledge and research skills across Itaca and engage in collaboration research projects between interested healthcare providers. And uh, uh, the EPACs here uh, are Gabor and Pietro. I don't know if Pietro is here, but Gabor is here. And um, uh, yes, we, we have many hopes from this work package too. Uh, work package eight is dedicated to te teaching and training. Uh, and the goal was to set up a teaching and training programs for future Itaka specialists like young geneticists and non-specialists to teach them about uh, the management of uh, this disorder. and how to handle such patients. To improve the knowledge of diseases, uh, disease biology and gen genetics of rare genetic anomalies and intellectual disabilities. Uh, the chair is uh, Laurence Fevre and Jill Clayton Smith. And uh, the EPUGs uh, involved in this work package are Dorica, Tomas and uh, Kasha. And uh, the next uh, uh, working group is um, uh, Work package nine, work package nine, yes, intellectual, yeah. intellectual disabilities, diagnosis and management. Uh, and uh, the goal for this work package is to deal with rare genetic IDs, improve knowledge and understanding of these disorders because they are, they are uh, very much unknown. And the chair of, uh, of this work package is Dr. Klefstra. And uh, the EPACs uh, involved in this work package are Dorica, Carol, and uh, Kasha. And uh, the last uh, work package is uh, the 10th, uh, 10, uh, work package 10, uh, dedicated to spina bifida. And um, it is um, the goal of this work package is uh, a cross ERN work, working group to produce an expert consensus statement for this multi-systemic disorder, harmonization of the clinical practice across EU and improved patient care. The chair um, and co-chair in this uh, work package are Dr. Manuza and Mosiello, and EPACs are Ami and uh, Rene. And uh, this is uh, all about the working groups. And, yeah, in uh, fact, just to, to add a few one. Just to add one point, uh, work group 10 is a specificity inside of Itaca because as you have noticed, we, haven't, uh, we have no um, work group dedicating to disease particularly because it's very wide in Itaca. Uh, 